Hi, this is Moogs, and I apologize for the way I look. It has been a long day. This is what your girl looks like when she has to work full time. Uh, this is... that's Freya. This is Fallen Empires, which I picked up yesterday. This one seems to work, so that's always a bonus. I don't... I played one round to try and figure out what's going on, but so far I have very few answers for you. Um, from what I can tell, I've got to protect this. And you do that by basically just selecting the units you want to build with the money you have. You get money for killing dudes. Pretty straightforward. I just... I'm unsure of the replayability of this game because I've played one round and... So far it seems pretty samey to me, so I don't know how much I would replay it. This is just an instant death thing. I'm guessing it uses mana, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing that this is the health of my castle, but I'm not, once again, too sure. Oh, it can't be because they've just broken down this wall. Um, so this level is harder than the previous one I did, that's for sure, but it's still not I'm gonna lose. But I just... also, scrolling in for some reason zooms out and scrolling out zooms in. Um, I can't go to the right, so I have to use the keys to go left and right. I can only go up and down, I'm not sure what the fuck is happening with my catapult there, it's having a spaz attack. Um, I don't know if there's a specific units are good against other units. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, very nice. That's very nice. Um, like, I don't know if you want archers against infantry and armoured against archers and mages against armoured and the forces against mages. I'm not really sure. That hasn't really been explained to me. I don't know... Like, I'm definitely lost, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll play another round to show you what I mean. But it's just, it's, it's all very... I don't know. So far, I'm not hugely enthused. So, the aim of the game is to make it to the other side. Okay, so let's retry that and maybe I'll pay slightly more attention this time. So we want to start off with some dudes, because I think that was my mistake last time, is that I was alt-tabbed out to press record. So I didn't start with any dudes. I think you can only spawn them on your half of the map, though there's no indicator of where that actually is, so you kind of just have to guess a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure... Okay, so big dots, I'm assuming, must be horses. So do I want horses against horses? Do I want wizards against horses? I'm not really... familiar with any of this. <laughs> just, just making shit up. That's how I get through life, let's be honest. That's just Loki destroying everything. So if I put some... And then all my dudes are dead. So I don't... I will lose again. I don't... I don't get it. Okay, you can individually move units. That's nice to know. Maybe I can just kind of kite them away with. No, they don't want to go away. You can put archers inside the walls and they'll fire through, but the problem is I think that they also break your walls down. And I'm not 100% sure on that. But once you start losing, it's just over. That's it. You can't... There's no way to recover because you're not making enough money to... 
I can see the fun for this in multiplayer. That's just Freya eating her pile of forks because this is my life. Um, yeah, I can see the fun in multiplayer, but I can't... Okay, so this was the first one I played, which was probably a bit easier because I don't know why. Does it make that sound when they spawn a horse as well, or? I don't know. Um, graphically, I don't hate it. I'm not gonna say that like, I love it and it's my favorite thing on earth, but I definitely don't hate it. It's kind of a bit cartoony, a bit cute. I can appreciate that. It's just functionality that I question, because I can't see why I would want to... So I started a new game before, in the same way I started a new game this time, and... I... It said the same thing to me, starting a new game, you'll lose all your progress. But I didn't see a button there to continue an old game instead of starting a new one. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to continue this game to kind of continue the, the adventure. I'm doing worse this time as well. I won this last time very easily. This time I am not. Is it just, is the key to winning just the horses? Just want as many horses as possible? Okay, so that gives me some money. I just... This is the problem, once you've started losing. There's really nothing you can do. Besides that, I guess. But even then, that's not an ideal solution. It does give you a lot of money, doesn't it? Okay, so you still get money if you insta-kill people. Interesting. Seems a bit cheaty, doesn't it? I, yeah. I just... So we'll get through this and then I'll show you what I mean about not being able to, if we can get through this, let's be honest, let's not go crazy. So if you hover over them it tells you how much they cost, what they do, horses clearly do the most damage, obviously archers are ranged, armoured are armoured. One extra health. Woo! The horses cost the most. And then you could think you can use this to select units. But yeah, the whole. This is pretty much it. So, yes, it's entertaining. I could see it as like a casual game, but it does kind of just remind me of a mobile game in a way because this really could just be played on a mobile, you just tap where you want to put your little dudes. And this is what I mean by once you start winning, you've pretty much won. That's as close as I could spawn them to the enemy. I think the infantry is basically just meat shields, let's be honest. You just send them in to die, and that's max troops. But I do have some dudes approaching my base, so maybe if I just... Send my dudes back here... It's not... It advertised... it was like, strategy with a difference, blah blah blah. But so far I'm not seeing a lot of difference besides the fact that I can't... I can't choose my units, really. If you get what I mean, like I can't 
upgrade things. I can't. Maybe I can if I figure out how to continue the thing, but at the moment I'm not really sure what the progression is. Okay, so this must be my base and this is their base. That kind of makes sense, I guess. And there's Loki, just gonna lie down over there. Sorry if you can hear them making noise. Okay, so then there's special things and you press continue. And then it takes you to here, so all you can do is press new game. You can't continue. You can multiplayer, campaign, or new game. That's your entire choices. And obviously options. So I don't understand why it comes up saying all existing progress will be lost. Because there's no way for me to continue my previous thing. And then if I do click new game, it gives me all this crap. And you can... Ah, okay. So you can upgrade stuff. You need these crystals that you get for not taking damage to your castle and whatever. But then... Oh, Jesus. I don't really need to hear that again. But then the only level you can choose is this one. And I'm assuming that this path is meant to lead to another level, but I can't find it. So if you know where it is, leave a comment and please let me know, because I would like to know. I would like to know when wizards become available in this. Because what I was playing before was the campaign, and that's where the wizards were, but... This is the same speech they give you when you press new game. Didn't I just press campaign? Okay, now I'm three times as confused as I was before. Okay, so I guess New Game starts a new campaign, but this isn't very clearly... Anyway, this is Fallen Empires. Um, it works. It's kind of a cute little game if that's what you're into. I'm not hugely into it. I just find it a bit meh. Um, it's by Lightning Man Media. It was released 30th of September this year. Hey, a new game for once, Emily. Good job. Um, and it's 12.95. So I'm guessing that it does... So I'm guessing that what I was playing before when I lost was the second level. And I'm just too dumb to have figured that out before. You'll have to forgive me. I have been up since 5 a.m. Because I work full time now and that's what we do. So I don't hate it. I don't love it. I see it as like a casual game that I'd kind of just play in the background while I was doing something else, like maybe watching TV. It works. It has multiplayer functionality. I'm not keen enough to go there right now because I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but that is Fallen Empires, so if that's your cup of tea, then check it out on Steam, 12.95. I'll put a link below so that you can just click directly on that. And thank you for watching.